these little windy streets remind me so much of Florence <laughs> it's just so like oh and everywhere you look there's like little Fiat Puntos like parked up <laughs> it's so cute our bus dropped us off to like literally the middle of nowhere and now we are in Piazza what's the word Bamberini or something Bamberini? I don't know I ain't got I literally big. have no idea what we're doing I see a McDonald's and a big bus roam um we're gonna go to the Trevi Fountain first though, right? Yep. Okay. You go to the square. Which and then go straight big. down. It's Barberini, Piazza Barberini. And I am gonna get run over by a Vespa. Oh my god, we found a gelato shop. <laughs> What the hell? We thought we'd be clever and come to the Trevi Fountain like late at night before it gets completely dark. And there's about 6,000 people here. What the hell? This is what I mean by 6,000 people. United Colours of Benetton like shop across the road from the fountain. They have windows upstairs. We've just come up here to try and take some photos. It will really show the view. The windows don't really open. We've tried every single one. We're trying to get a good shot of the Trevi fountain. Ugh. Look at this. They have two different sizes of Apera. Got this mini one as well. So cute. If you want to buy a fake handbag, this is the place to come. <laughs> These guys are hilarious. The ones with the big white sacks. The minute they see police, they pack up all their fake designer handbags and they act like they're not selling them. <laughs> really, they are. There's so many of them. Look, like this guy. Oh my god, my first plate of pasta. Chas has got, let me guess, Quattro Stagioni pizza. Every time we come to Italy, this is like his obsession. It's like, what is it? Ham, salami, olives, um, mushrooms? Artichoke. artichoke. He is obsessed with Quattro Stagioni. That means four seasons, by the way. Does it know? Yes, it does. See? I'm great at Italian. Is it memorable? I was going to order an Aperol, can you guys believe me? But I ended up with Diet Coke, so I've just been craving like something frizzy. Frizzy? Fizzy. And we kind of got a portion of chips on the side, which are about to fall off the table. Good morning, everyone. Last night was eventful. We went, to, we went out for dinner. We ended up at a restaurant called Taberna, near the Trevi Fountain and I really didn't like the dish that I ordered. It was far too like creamy and cheesy for me. I felt quite ill afterwards. I mean, I only had like three or four like forkful and I ended up eating like the other half of Jasper's pizza that didn't have meat on it. The service was really, really nice. The lady was like, oh, didn't you like your pasta? I was like, no, 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 it was fine. Cause it wasn't like obviously their fault. It was just me that didn't like it. And then in the end, when she brought us the bill, she took it off the bill cause she could see that I hadn't eaten it. So it was really nice of her. And then we stocked up on loads of apple oils, brought them back to our hotel. Um, we had one on the balcony last night. I just still felt quite ill. We ended up going to bed quite late actually. It was like 1 a.m. We'd been up for like 21 hours at this point or something like that. Anyway, today we're just having a bit of a lazy day. We just had breakfast in the hotel. Went upstairs, got changed into our swimwear, which I have on underneath this. And we're at the kiddie pool just because it's a lot quieter and shallower. We're gonna check that out and if it's not great, we're gonna head back to the other pool. So I don't know if you can see, that's the kiddie pool. Hey, so we're just in the rain and bath now. There's like a plunge pool just in front here. And at the back there are some people in there, but that's the actual rain and bath. And they've got men's and women's um, saunas on either side. gotten a little drunk. Jess and I got a bit carried away drinking Aperols on the balcony after our like really fun day of like relaxation. Um, we also went to the Roman Bath. I think I I filmed a clip on Jess's phone so hopefully I like don't forget to insert that. So we missed the first bus but it is now 20 past six. Yep. Um, hoping to get the 5.30 bus. 
We're at the 6.30 when I'm right now. So I'm currently just sat in the St. Regis Hotel. We were walking towards the metro station to get the train to the Piazza Spagna, I think, to go to the Spanish Steps. But um, I was dying for a wee after all that Aperol I had. And so we just snuck into this hotel. It's super fancy. I've just posted loads of like stuff from here on my Insta story. Like all these like views from the bathroom and like selfies that I took. Um, and now Jess has gone to explore. Let me just show you what I'm looking at. There's this like really old school lift here and it says that it still works. We don't think it does though. Cause I've called it a million times. And it goes all the way up to like the fifth floor. He's gone to investigate. <laughs> oh my god, it's moving. It does work. That is so cool. We're gonna get some fruit. Oh, it's so good. Two fifty peach and melon. Spanish steps. I feel like we've just missed golden hour though, that's so annoying. But look, this is the Piazza Spagna, and uh, there's a Sephora there, and it's open. But first, we're gonna climb these steps. I'm such an idiot. Um, I've been in story this whole time. <laughs> I completely forgot to vlog, but we just climbed the Spanish steps. Let me show you my story if I can. Here we go. This is my Insta story. I've literally just posted it all now. So yeah, basically, it wasn't actually as bad as we thought it would be, it's just because it was really hot and really, really crowded. And you're not actually allowed to sit on the steps because the police keep like coming up and blowing these whistles to try and get everyone up, which is actually a good thing, because then you can take your photos, they're like, you just have to keep moving. And um, we're now at the top, we've just sat like at the church at the top, but that bit's closed, so we can't go into there. And we're gonna like look for somewhere to have dinner, because we didn't have lunch today, we just had a big breakfast. Not even a big breakfast, actually, it wasn't that great for veggies. Um, <laughs> but we're just looking for somewhere to have dinner just on TripAdvisor or not <laughs> he's on like Instagram stories it's like a shadow of my face that's better but anyway I'm gonna go now Let's cheers with our beer and Diet Coke in like a wine glass. Cheers. We're in this restaurant and the guy's so cute. Basically the starter I wanted um, had fish in it and they couldn't change it. So Jas just ordered his fish starter and I just thought it's fine because I've got a side of greens with my pasta. And the guy was like, oh here, have some ricotta cheese. Um, just for you because you don't like fish. He's so cute. Um, it's not really to my liking. It's got a lot of honey in like, the sashi is nice but it's just really creamy for me. But it was just so sweet of him. I got cashew with pepe which is basically cheese and black pepper. I always crave like vegetables or something green really luminously. Roast potatoes, cause you know, why not? Oh yeah. I was such an idiot. Um, dinner was so good by the way. It was 
<sighs> She's lovely, wasn't it? Yep. So filling. We even had tiramisu for dessert, which we basically never do. Anyway, we got back to the hotel. Um, got chatting to these like there's like a family of five in the lift and they were like oh hello ciao like what, what language and then they were like you guys are English right and I said yeah and then she said American and I thought she was telling me that she's American so I was like yeah and then they thought we were American we were talking the kids are looking at us like never heard this accent before <laughs> And the guy started talking and he was proper like New York, but like Italian New York from like New Jersey, New York. Like you mm. can just, not New, New Jersey, not New York. And I was just like, oh my God, I love his accent. And then I, I don't know what I started saying. I was like, oh yeah, like there's loads of Americans staying at this hotel. Where about in America are you from? And he's like, hang on, you're English. <laughs> and that's what I said. And he was like, oh no, no, you said you're American. It was all very complicated. <laughs> but basically on, the, on our way out, we bumped into a guy who was asking us where we're from. He was from Miami. A lady at breakfast was, was somewhere from America. She didn't tell us where, but she was telling us about how she nearly married an Englishman. And yeah. Um, it's probably not funny to you guys. I'm not even drunk, by the way. I just thought I'd share that funny story. But literally, this hotel is like full of Americans because it just feels like we're in Vegas because it's like such a huge resort. But tonight is our last night. I think we should celebrate just with. Oh, my feet are so swollen. Um, Aperols on the balcony. It is so hot. It has gone 11 p.m. It is still 29 degrees outside and so humid. This is not a highlighter you see on my face. It is sweat. Like, it's boiling hot. I'm dreading the next few days here because I just don't know how we're gonna cope like sightseeing during the day. Checked out of our room. How sad are you, Jess? Very really sad. We have loads of luggage. We're not leaving the hotel yet. We're going to go to the pool and the spa and just chill for a bit and then wait until the next shuttle bus goes because they're like on their little siesta lunch break thing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. I'm so good at water volleyball. Like, I just knock Jack out of the park every single time. It's so great. <laughs> Right, we've just got changed into our robes. There we go. Super fancy, and we're heading to the Roman baths now. I'll try and vlog today if I can. We had such a nice morning making use of all the facilities. Our last time making use of all the facilities in our hotel. We checked out in the morning, went straight to the pool, jacuzzi, wearing baths, all the rest of it. Made loads of new friends again in the jacuzzi and then we both went to like shower and obviously in the changing rooms. Jas was done like half an hour before me. I upset to wash my hair and like kind of dry it. Did you use a towel dryer for your swimsuit? Towel dryer? Uh, the drying machine for your swimsuit. No. No, I didn't. Is that coming? Yeah, it dries your swimsuit. Really? Okay, he didn't do that. I did that. Oh no. And 
And so I did that, did my hair, had a shower, all the rest of it. And then as soon as I like emerged into the lobby, he was like four minutes to the next shuttle, I was going to wait an hour. So we like ran, got our luggage and just got straight on the bus. Absolutely starving. We thought we'd get a bus halfway into the city centre and then get a taxi from here to our next hotel because otherwise we'd have to pay for a taxi the whole way which would be twice the price because this hotel where was the cabinet north like above above the uh, city centre thank you thank you like above the city centre like uh, so past the city centre then you're back north yeah, so the first hotel we were just in, the Cavalieri, I think that's the yeah, room was like Cavalieri. north of the city centre and our next one is like south of the city centre so you can imagine it would cost us loads. Thank you. Um, so we just found a cute little like trattoria, bistro, pizzeria and we're having some pasta. If this was big enough for me to stick my face into, my totes would. Do you they charge for ice here? Because she gave us loads. Really and they do. I'm so intrigued by this. I've never like cooked or like, you don't really see like artichokes in the supermarkets in the UK. This was a fried artichoke. It's like a whole one. I have no idea how you're supposed to eat it, but I was just really intrigued. Um, and it comes with like crisps on the side. It's very, very strange. And I got penne arrabbiata for the first time in my life. I don't know why, like, everyone I know loves this, but I never ordered this. I want it to be quite simple though. Just got chicken and chips. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 